this is day three and we just left from eating breakfast and it was amazing like their breakfast here is so good um i had a pine chocolate i had a croissant and i had some smoked salmon it's raw but it was so good and then um what else do we have tea oh uh, we had uh omelet was really good yeah we had an omelet terry had an omelet it was so good you didn't tell me what today is oh today is my birthday how did i forget that yeah today's my birthday so we're gonna have a little nice birthday dinner on like a river scene cruise and then we're gonna um we're going to the catacombs this morning so um i'm really excited about that you guys i'm super tired we didn't get home to like what t 12 1 it was really late but i got to see the eiffel tyra sparkle for the first time so that was so awesome and so worth it um what else did we do we went to the louvre museum yesterday <sighs> Oh, and we went out to eat at this restaurant. It was called Ah Day. I'll make sure I write it in the description bar. It was so good. We had the best French onion soup. So amazing. So if you guys are there, you definitely have to check that out too as well. But today is going to be really exciting. The view is so pretty, guys. Like, it's just so adorable. And there's like so many restaurants. You can see like people walk in. It's just like the perfect view. And this is so many restaurants. Like, I don't know if this is like a bar district or not. I'm not really for sure. But like, it's this really good restaurant. I'm trying to show you guys. Ugh, you may not be able to see it. But like, right over here, it's a really good restaurant. Hey guys, so this is the restaurant <clears throat> right here that I was telling you about. Focus. Right over there. <clears throat> it's really, really, really good. I had this pizza from here. I'm gonna post a picture. I think I took a picture of it. And then Terry, what did you get from this restaurant? A lot. Fish and chips. Pacha de Remy. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's really good. And there's another restaurant like over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But there's so many restaurants over here, guys. Japanese, Indian uh, cuisine, French cuisines. It's just amazing. Hey y'all. Oh, we're going. All right, yeah. What's up? What's up? There we go. So this is day three, like I said earlier, and Terry's now getting the Uber for the catacombs. Going to see some uh, some zombies. No, we're not. We're going nope. to see. <laughs> it's like an underground uh, burial. Yeah. Like so at some point there wasn't enough room to bury the dead, so somebody came up with the bright idea to bury, bury them, them underground. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to go see those dead people being buried. So, They're not being, uh, being buried. Dead people that were buried. Yeah. So it should be cool. I think it's going to be a good trip. Yeah. And it's like channeling our inner Ghostbusters. You got to scan me too? Yeah, I got you, babe. Um. All right, we are in here. All right, well, we are oh my going goodness, it's okay. Down <laughs> the stairs. Into the catacomb. It's three, right? Huh? Oh my goodness. Y'all. What? Amber. We are going down the oh, stairs. Oh, it's more stairs? Into Be the catacomb. Day. Hold on to the railing. I'm a real Oh my oh. goodness. I'm a fail. So he said it's like 13 degrees. They aren't here. Going down. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm walking so slow. You all right? <laughs> yeah, keep going. Me? It's a line behind us. Oh my goodness. If anything gets me, just take off. Y'all. Y'all. What? All I can think about in the world is when, when this end. Okay, let me turn around for y'all. I'm sorry, I'm going so slow. <laughs> I was kind of nervous. <laughs> I can't switch it around. Oh, wow. Well, this is like never ending. <laughs> okay. What? Back to the stairs. Okay. The camera's like, I ain't looking down. 
Yeah. Oh, this is a lot of stairs. Hey guys, so we are at the catacombs today, as you can see. And let me just start by saying that it is so many steps. There is 131 steps all together, but it's 243 steps going down to the catacombs and also coming back up. You guys, when I say we were out of breath and it was so scary because it was like a, a swirl. So like you couldn't tell like when it was going to end because you couldn't see in front of you until you turn the corner. But the temperature that day was 13 degrees Celsius, and I believe they said that the average temperature is 14 degrees Celsius, so it was pretty cold down there. The rate for you to go to the catacombs is 15 euros, and for children under 18 years old, it's free. The audio guide in French, English, Spanish, and German, those are the languages it comes in, and that's five euros. However, for us, the full rate with the audio guide was 29 euros. And for children for 4 to 17, four to 17 years old, that's when it's 5 euros. Black folks can't be doing everything. This be this be one of them. They're entering another world. They it's another world. Oh, cool. Thanks. So, we're, we're entering another world, y'all. Oh, yeah, it's starting to smell like. I'm going to stop for a second. It's probably in the light. Okay, y'all. Show them back there. We just walk from. Whew. Did someone come up out there? I'm going to get it. Damn it. You may have dropped that purse, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Not the Louie. The Louie gotta go. There were people behind us. We don't know where they are. They go now. Keep it moving. Oh, it's kind of bright up in here. People have been in here, y'all. Look at all this graffiti. Who, who got the time? Let me see. What that door do? All the dates of the reinforcement operation are on the walls. Dates of the reinforcement? Yeah, when I had to like kind of reinforce the panels. Because it's made out of limestone. Here it is. What's this? This is it. We're, this is this right here. You see? For 13th centuries, people who died from hospitals or mortuaries were buried in the Cemetery of the Innocent. However, the cemetery began to pose a growing health risk. Officials began to recognize that traditional city cemeteries had begun become overflowing and that the hygiene was not so good. During the 16th century, chenier houses or mass graves were built to create space for the newly deceased. Graves of Parisians who had been dead for decades or centuries were broken down like their skeletons and remains were broken down and tightly packed together in a mass grave. And this was supposed to solve the problem to kind of create space and figure out a plan to do with the old disease, but this did not work. 16th century onwards, Where the we go? And that's how it happens, boys and girls. That's how everybody disappeared. I lost him for a second. <laughs> He's so silly. Skeleton. Oh, oh. All right, so we're about to enter what we, the telephone. So we came into this section, which was bigger than most of the entire thing as far as uh, width, but it had some items, some things that kind of showed you what's exactly going on and how they kind of put the structure together. Amber, what do you think you've seen in there? So basically, this was just telling us like the information, the reason why the catacombs were built, the history of the catacombs. But when I say it was so much walking just to get to this part, you guys, like it was a lot of walking. Yeah, it was about a mile. So you walk about a mile, if not a little bit more, not including the steps. And they said it was 800 meters, right? The entire catacombs. It was like 800 meters. Oh, you deep. Yeah, you deep. Yeah. So some yeah. do grab you. You may be a part of the exhibit after a while. Terry, shut up. <laughs> So it was a really good experience. It was awesome to learn a lot of history. Um, I say get the audio guide. That is so helpful. Y'all, I didn't listen to that audio guide. Amber was my audio guide. So one person out of y'all group need to, yes. to listen because everybody else, 
enjoy the pictures and um enjoy the time that's all it is. all right y'all i was put in charge to talk to you guys about the catacombs and why the catacombs were actually created so i'm gonna do my best here we go so the reason why they were created was at some point in time during the 16th century people were dying dropping like flies and they were running out of or the mid 18th century sorry so basically they were running out of spaces to bury people and um they decided to build mass graves to kind of hold all the dead since so many people were coming to France and trying to live there that they didn't have any spots for the dead people. At some point, um, the graves were starting to rise to about six feet off above the ground level. So you can only imagine the stench slash look of that, that cemetery or that mass grave. At one point, it even cracked into a restaurant and literally dead bodies on your pizza. So just have that in mind, that that's the type of things that were going on. So it took 15 months to clear out all the courts at the Cemetery of Innocence, and then they were also transferred to the catacombs, where they were dumped down a shaft and then separated and sorted. So we were entering into the catacombs and above it you'll see a sign and like a little door that says don't stop here lies the empire of death so and that's what it reads here lies the empire of death which lets you know that you are entering into the catacombs Louis the Sixteenth decided that there was time to close the mass graves and um push towards a catacomb, which was what you see in the video now. Um, I could only imagine how it would be for a restaurant owner to go into their cellar and see deceased bodies coming through because of those mass graves. So shout out to Lu Mr. Louis for coming up with the great idea that lasts even till now. catacombs which is full of bones now i can only imagine what it looked like when he first started but as of right now if you can see in the videos man there's so many bones so many people looking at you i mean it's insane anybody that yeah it, it could be scary you've seen that mo movie above of what is below something like that it's some it's some so as you can see it's the bones more so skulls and femurs the bones, which had previously been loosely piled, were taken down and reorganized back into the walls. They consisted of rows alternating from skulls and femurs, as you can see in the video. The other bones were tossed behind the femurs and the skulls that were not easily stackable to kind of make it look more presentable to the public. As you go through, you'll also see like different type of designs with the bones, like hearts and things like that. This fountain, later renamed the Fountain of the Samaritan, was discovered by query workers at the end of the 18th century. And if you guys have the audio guide, it like plays the Bible scripture of when Jesus met the Samaritan woman at the well. All right. Alright, hey, hey guys. guys, we have just left the catacombs, the catacombs. seen a couple bones, seen a couple of uh, dead people, but for the most part, it was, it, it was, was awesome. actually crazy looking. Yeah. The way that people, like, they figured out how to put the bones together, even though I don't know if the people were decomposing or maybe they were just all already in the grave mm -hmm. and then they dug up the grave yeah and then, they dug up the graves is that what they did mm -hmm. but dude it has been crazy but yeah. i think for our venture and it, it felt good to get kind of out of the inner city of uh, yeah of paris. paris and now as this come this would be what you would consider i guess your suburbs mm -hmm. so i'll let you guys see that too any last closing remarks on Paris has been great. Um, the catacombs was amazing. I think the the most interesting thing was the Samaritan woman's will. 
because it was like a Bible scripture thing. And, but we'll have more history in the video. We might do like a voiceover for some parts, but it was awesome. What was like your favorite part? Uh, I don't know. I just enjoyed, I enjoyed the spookiness of it. I enjoyed it just being like, you know, I seen that movie of what is below is above or whatever. So it kind of gave me a feel of what they were going through down there. And there's a lot of graffiti. It just was a good experience overall. It was very yeah. unique. Something that you would never see anywhere, but probably Paris or if you go somewhere else, you might yep. have it. But it was we, really awesome. We will continue this story as we walk. So I'm going to turn yeah. the camera around. Deuces, deuces. I just love all the different types of balconies. Yeah, it's really dope out here. Yeah. Uh, Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah. It is. Hell, I don't know where we are. I have no idea where we are. <laughs> Should we go down there? Ugh. Let's go. We can cross. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Let's go this way. This way? Okay. I guess. I know we are on the back side, or maybe the side of we, it. We in the cut. <laughs> it's so pretty. Yeah, so Did easy. you see yourself? Let me go up the camera. I think what I like most, oh, sorry, I don't know like most is that they give everybody like a window from what I've seen. Yes, so you everybody able has to, like a balcony. Yeah, so you're able to like really get a, a piece of the city. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think one of our drivers said it the best, it's an old city. Yeah. So that, that architect, mm -hmm. that, those, those things like, that you're not. Like so they can see. Look you know. at this. This is beautiful. Yeah. It's so, so pretty. Like it's the so old beautiful. way they design things, I think is really nice. This is about the cafe and the restaurant, Amber. Okay. I said one thing I love is that like how every like balcony or apartment, they all have like cafes and restaurants under them. So like if you get hungry or anything like that, you can always just go downstairs into like your little cafe, get a coffee or a tea or a pan chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Amber's been a big fan of the pan chocolate, so yes. it's been like her stilo. I'm glad. Hey boys and girls, we are at the end of our trip. This is our last night in Paris. We have just done the dinner date, so we're on the deck, just taking pictures, enjoying ourselves. Um, weather's beautiful, guys. September is a beautiful month to come. Now it did rain a little bit for us, but we still made the best of it, and um, we did everything we thought we wanted to do. We did, did it. We did take a little detour a couple times and see some things, but it was all good, man. I love the mom and pop feel. I love everything that's going on. Highly recommend, highly would suggest you guys make this a plan. Take about four days. Yes, we did four three. Five. We did about three. We came in on a Friday morning. But do like four or five days if you can. Because that's going to give you time to do everything you think of. And enjoy the people. Enjoy the language. 